Hi, this is Dr. Becky Kuhn. I'm a physician who specializes in HIV AIDS. Welcome to some ways you can contract HIV and the risk of each one. People often ask us which sexual practices have a relatively higher risk of HIV transmission and which have a relatively lower risk. This video will discuss the estimated risk of HIV transmission for mother to child transmission, needle sharing, and for some common sexual practices. First, let's cover some of the basics. HIV is present in an infected person's blood, an infected man's ejaculation fluid called semen, an infected woman's vaginal fluids, and breast milk. HIV is not found in significant quantities in tears, sweat, or saliva. HIV spreads when one person's body fluids come in direct contact with another person's mucous membranes. Examples of mucous membranes include the eyes, nose, mouth, and genitals. When two people have sex and exchange body fluids, HIV may spread from one infected partner to the other. With that overview in mind, let's now discuss the estimated risk of HIV transmission for mother to child transmission, needle sharing, and for some common sexual practices. It's important to realize that these statistics are just estimates based on the currently available scientific information. The risk of contracting HIV from a partner will also vary at different times during their infection. A person who has contracted HIV is most infectious shortly after they've acquired the virus, known as primary HIV infection. The cited figures here are estimated average risks and risk of transmitting HIV can be increased or decreased by many other factors. For example, for sexual contact, if either or both partners have other sexually transmitted diseases, the risk of HIV transmission will be increased. Mother to child transmission, 25% without treatment, one in four chance. Worldwide, mother to child transmission is one of the most common ways that HIV is transmitted. If a woman is HIV positive and becomes pregnant, there is a risk that her child will contract HIV during the pregnancy, more commonly during the childbirth or while breastfeeding. If an HIV positive woman takes no steps to protect her child from HIV and does not breastfeed, there is a 15 to 30% chance that her child will contract HIV. If she also breastfeeds, the risk of transmission increases to 20 to 45%. However, if an HIV positive woman follows her doctor's instructions, it is possible to reduce the risk of the child contracting HIV. With appropriate antiretroviral therapy for the mom and infant, it is possible to reduce HIV transmission to one to 2%. Watch our videos on preventing mother to child transmission of HIV AIDS to learn more about how to reduce an infant's risk of contracting HIV from an HIV positive mother. Needle sharing, 0.67% per exposure, one in 150 chance each time. Another common route of HIV transmission is through the sharing of needles by injection drug users. HIV is present in the blood of an infected person. If a person with HIV uses a needle to inject a drug, some of their blood gets in and on the needle. If another person uses that same dirty needle, the other person may contract HIV as a result. According to an article by Edward Kaplan in the Journal of AIDS and Human Retrovirology, each time a person is exposed to a needle with HIV, the risk of HIV transmission is 0.67%. This means that if you inject yourself with a dirty needle 100 times, your risk of contracting HIV might be as high as 67%. If you inject drugs, the best way to avoid contracting HIV is to use your own needles and not share. Please also talk to a doctor about getting into a treatment program to help you get clean. Unprotected receptive anal sex, 0.5% per exposure, one in 200 chance each time. 
Anal sex is riskier than vaginal sex because the anal tissue is more prone to tearing during sex than the vaginal tissue. If a person is the receptive or bottom partner in anal sex and no condom is used, their risk of contracting HIV from an infected partner is estimated to be 0.5%, one chance in 200, per exposure, according to the European Study Group on Heterosexual Transmission of HIV. This means that if you are the bottom in unprotected anal sex with HIV-infected partners 100 times, you may have a 50-50 chance of having contracted HIV. If you engage in anal sex, use a condom every time to reduce your risk of contracting HIV. Unprotected receptive vaginal sex, 0.1% per exposure, one in 1,000 chance each time. If a man infected with HIV has unprotected vaginal sex with a woman, the woman has a 0.1% chance, one in 1,000 chance per exposure of contracting HIV. Women's genitalia have a larger mucosal surface area than men. Overall, in vaginal sex, there's a greater risk that HIV will be transmitted to the woman than to the man. Unprotected insertive anal sex, 0.065% per exposure, one in 1,538 chance each time. If a man has unprotected insertive anal sex, or is a top with a partner who is infected with HIV, he has a 0.065% chance, one in 1,538 chance of contracting HIV each time. As in other sexual practices, using a condom correctly every time will greatly reduce his risk of contracting HIV. Unprotected insertive vaginal sex 0.05% per exposure, one in 2,000 chance each time. If a man has unprotected, insertive vaginal sex with a woman who is infected with HIV, he has a 0.05% chance, one in 2,000 chance of contracting HIV each time. It's worth repeating, using a condom correctly every time will greatly reduce your risk. Unprotected receptive oral sex on a man, 0.01% per exposure, one in 10,000 chance each time. Unprotected insertive oral sex on a man, 0.005% per exposure, one in 20,000 chance each time. If a person performs oral sex on a man without using a condom, the person has a 0.01% chance, one in 10,000 chance of contracting HIV each time. If a man has unprotected oral sex performed on him without a condom by an HIV positive partner, he has a 0.005% chance, one in 20,000 chance of contracting HIV each time. Because these risks are relatively lower than some other practices such as insertive or receptive anal sex, some people sometimes think that oral sex is safe sex. It's important to realize that the risk of HIV transmission in either direction via oral sex is not zero. And since there's no cure for HIV once you're infected, why take an unnecessary risk that could change your life forever? Also realize that there are other sexually transmitted diseases such as herpes, syphilis, and gonorrhea that could be transmitted via oral sex. So if you have oral sex, use a condom each time to reduce your risk of contracting HIV or other sexually transmitted diseases. Unprotected oral sex on a woman. It is difficult to predict the risk of HIV transmission for either partner when performing oral sex on a woman. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has reported that the risk for HIV transmission is low compared to vaginal and anal sex. It is important to remember that there have been documented cases of HIV transmission likely occurring from oral sex on a woman. So using protection like a dental dam is always a good idea to decrease your risk of any STDs, including HIV. Remember, 
the averages won't help you if you're the one who becomes infected. For example, unprotected, insertive oral sex on a man may carry an estimated risk of one chance of HIV transmission in 20,000. But if you're the one who gets infected, HIV transmission is still 100% for you. These statistics are not a license to engage in unprotected sex. Rather, they will hopefully help people to realize that all of the sexual practices we've listed carry some risk of HIV transmission. So it's vital that if you're sexually active to always practice safer sexual techniques, such as the use of condoms. No matter who you are, you're a valuable individual and your life matters, as do the lives of those in your community. Take care of yourself and those around you. Make healthy choices that eliminate or reduce your risk of contracting or transmitting HIV. This is Dr. Becky Kuhn.